Today we are going to discuss the Graham Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. And this is part two of two. So if you didn't catch part one, make sure you look for that. First coat of arms to discuss is Blazon Checky on a Fess, three Escalops. All of this is untinctured. We assume the tinctures or colors for purposes of this video. Now, this coat of arms belonged to one Malays Graham, born 1407, who spent much of his life as a parole hostage in England. King James I deprived him of his earldom of Strathern, and in its place granted him a Modi of Menteith. Now, it looks like when he was granted the earldom, he got a new coat of arms. This is the arms of the earls of Menteith. Uh, Melise was the first. And here we see a list of the earls of Menteith and the Graham family through the eighth earl who died in 1694. Next, we have the arms of Graham of Garter in County Sterling. The progenitor of this family was Walter Graham, first laird of Garter, born 1496, the second son of Alexander Graham, second Earl of Menteith. Coat of arms of the Graham Baronetcy of Gartmoor in the county of Stirling, created in the baronetage of Nova Scotia in 1665 for Sir William Graham. His son, Sir John, second baronet, was declared insane in 1696. Here we see the family estate of Gartmoor, Next, the arms of Viscount Preston, Sir Richard Graham, 3rd Baronet of Esk, diplomat and politician, was created Viscount Preston in 1681. Here we see Richard Graham. Next, the coat of arms of Graham of Esk, the baronetcy, the Grand Baronetcy of Esk in the County of Cumberland was created in the Baronetage of England in 1629 for Sir Richard Graham, who represented Carlisle in Parliament and served as Gentleman of the Horse to King James I, fought at the Battle of Edgehill in 1642, and was the son of Fergus Graham of Plump. And there was the Grand Baronets of Norton Conyers. The Grand Baronetcy of Norton Conyers in the County of York was created in the Baronetage of England. In 1662 for Sir Richard Graham, born 1636, in honor of the services to the restoration of the monarchy, and he was the son of the first baronet of Esk. Here we see a list of the baronets of Esk through, looks like, the 13th baronets, and a list of the baronets of North Conyers through the 11th baronet who died, or I'm sorry, who was born in 1940. And a baronetcy was essentially a hereditary knighthood that passed on from father to son. And here we see the family estate. Another coat of arms for the Norton Baronetcy of Netherby in the county of Cumberland, created in the Baronetage of Great Britain in 1783 for Sir James Graham, who later represented Ripon in the House of Commons and was the son of Reverend Robert Graham. Here we see Sir James Graham, first baronet, as well as a list of the Graham baronets of Netherby through the sixth baronet who died in 1997. The Graham baronetcy of Kirkstall in the county of York was created in the baronetage of the United Kingdom in 1808 for Sir James Graham, member of parliament for Cockermouth, who was later a member of parliament for Carlisle and was the son of Thomas Graham. Here we see Sir James Graham, first baronet, as well as a list of the baronets all the way through the fifth baronet, Sir Cyril Clark Graham, who died in 1895. Coat of arms of the Grahams of Morphy in Kincardine, Gilbert Graham, born around the year 1350, was first laird of Morphy, son of John Graham of Auchincloach and Tam Rower born around the year 1327, who was the third son of David Graham of Montrose. 
And we have Lord George Graham, a Scottish officer in the Royal Navy who saw service during the War of Austrian Secession and was a member of Parliament, the son of James Graham, Duke of Montrose. Here we see one of them, either Gilbert's or George. Unfortunately, I don't have my notes here with me to figure out which one it is. Another coat of arms for Robert Graham, alive in the year 1679 of London, a tailor to the king. He descended from the Grahams of Morphy. Graham of Arth, or Arth in County Stirling. James Graham was Dean of the Faculty of Advocates in Scotland and Judge of the High Court of the Admiralty. He had son William Graham of Arth, Castle, born 1730, who had seven sons and seven daughters. Here we see James Graham. Graham of Burnt Shields in County Renfrew, 1854. There was William Graham, born 1786, son of William Graham, grandson of William Graham, all of Burnt Shields, and the great-grandson of James Graham, who died in 1795 of Tam Rower. Here we see Burnt Shields, old photograph around 1899, I believe and a more modern day photograph. Coat of arms of James Graham, Merchant of Glasgow, Scotland, dated 1817. Graham of Micklewood in Stirling. There was Walter Graham of Micklewood, born 1573, who was son of John Graham. And, oh, who, I'm sorry, whose son, John Graham, born 1611, married and continued the line by having five children. Graham of Dugglestone. John Graham of Dugglestone, who died around the year 1672, was a Burgess of Glasgow in 1629, son of Robert, and he was the first of this location. He had son John Graham of Dugglestone, born 1635, a writer in Glasgow. One that just, all we know about it is it says the word Newark. That's the location it's associated with. So I would assume that's Newark Castle in Scotland, although I wasn't able to find who the grantee or armager was. There's also Newton on Trent in England, but I do not think that is it. Next is Graham of Lime Kilns, 1772. Patrick Graham, the first of Lime Kilns, born 1658, was formerly a merchant of Kilbride. Here we see a Patrick Graham who was born later, perhaps a son or a grandson. Coat of arms of Elizabeth Graham, the second wife of the first Earl of Coventry and the daughter of Richard Graham, as recorded in a monument in Elmsley Castle Church in 1699. Coat of arms granted to the co-heirs of Lieutenant Colonel Arthur Graham Esquire, alive in the year 1711, of Hockley Lodge in County Armagh, Northern Ireland, and also of Dublin. These co-heirs were members of the Lloyd family, and here we see the family estate of Hockley Lodge. Next, a coat of arms granted to Sir James Graham, born 1623, governor of Drogheda in Ireland, born in Fife, Scotland. He had daughters Marion and Helen. A coat of arms conferred to Robert Graham, born 1786, of Drumgoon in County Ferman, and Balinil, Balina Kill in County Galway. He was the son of Francis Graham of Drumgoon and the grandson of Robert Graham. The arms of Henry John Graham, born around the year 1840, a graduate of Oxford University, vicar of Hash, I'm sorry, Ashhampton, Berkshire, and the son of James Graham of Cumberland. And lastly, we have a coat of arms granted to Fergus Graham of the Moat in Liddisdale, County Cumberland, England on December 10th, 1553. He was son of William Graham of Stubble and the grandson of Richard Graham of Moss Kesson. And the oak tree is said from the grant to symbolize the antiquity of the Graham family and the stability of its loyalty to the crown of England. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.